Manufactured fears about Islamophobia have been weaponized to characterize all criticism of Islam as racist. But Islam is not a race. No belief system is above scrutiny, especially one as intolerant and barbarous as Islam. Back in December, I made a video called Islam is not a religion of peace. And this was the response. If you say one more time that Islam is not a religion of peace, I'm going to come to your house and kill you! If I found you face to face, do you want to know what I would personally do? I would actually, actually fucking kill you! And then put the ISIS flag over your body and declare victory in the name of ISIS. I used to be one of your loyal fans on YouTube, though I find what you say about Islam to be insulting. Thus I will lay claim to your lands and within time you will be enslaved! Jihad will never accept the western values of your imperialism, we shall cleanse your lands with fire and steel! Your waters shall flow with blood and your women shall serve us! I am a proud British Muslim white male, and you know what? I find what you say about Islam offensive, and soon those words will be your last! We Muslims do not forgive easily, we will soon take over your lands, and your women belong to us all! Your white man will have only one choice, join or die! Soon you will pay for your hatred towards Islam, your hateful nature will be met with Allah's wrath! How dare you say that Islam is not a religion of peace! I will come on your house and kill you! Yeah. Little word of advice for you fellas. You're not going to prove that Islam is a religion of peace by threatening to kill me. That kind of proves my point. What also proves my point is an entire summer of terror attacks by Islamists who in every case chant Allah Akbar and cite the Quran as the inspiration behind their rampage. The Syrian refugee suicide bomber in Germany said that his attack was a revenge act against Germans standing in the way of Islam. I guess that's nothing to do with Islam. The axe attacker on a train in Germany published a post 24 hours before his rampage saying it was an act of retribution against, quote, enemies of Islam. I guess that's nothing to do with Islam. He also said he wanted to take revenge on the infidels. I guess that's Nothing to do with Islam. ISIS gunmen in Bangladesh killed those who couldn't recite the Quran. I guess that's nothing to do with Islam. We've also had another summer of mass sexual assaults committed by Muslim migrants across Europe. Which of course is nothing to do with Islam. Anyone who claims otherwise is Islamophobic. <laughs> In fact, Islam is so blameless that we now have jihadists screaming Allah Akbar while stabbing Jews and within hours, it's dismissed as just someone with a mental illness. After the Nice massacre, the BBC was more concerned about, quote, anti-Islamic tweets than a guy mowing down hundreds of people with a truck in the name of Islam. So each of these red dots is an anti-Islamic tweet coming from the UK. And that that we can see happening right now, that's a digital reaction to the Nice attacks. Do you notice how they've redefined Islamophobia as anything that's, quote, anti-Islamic? Because criticising a violent and intolerant belief system is now an act of intolerance. It's Islamophobic. They're trying to characterise genuine and warranted concern over Islamofascism as some kind of hate crime wave sweeping Europe. Because the real victims of Islamist terror are Muslims who might get mean stares on public transport. Baby secret. She whispers. Just to you. Allahu Akbar. I mean, the West is so rampantly Islamophobic that Westerners view Muslims more positively than Muslims view Westerners. Okay, so if the West is so riddled with Islamophobia, why do hundreds of millions of Muslims all want to move here? I don't remember Jews being that keen on visiting Nazi Germany in the 1930s. Oh, and criticizing Sharia law is also now Islamophobic, according to the BBC. The attacks are going to change people's opinions. So if you've got something to say, then you can say it. Do you want to talk about Sharia law? You want to talk about Sharia law to me? We can talk about, we'll talk about Sharia law. You obviously said it for a reason. CNN's Sally Cohn says that Sharia law is progressive. Characteristics of Sharia law. Wife beating, forced child marriage, and the complete disenfranchisement and subjugation of women in marriage, property ownership, and divorce. Yep, sounds really progressive, doesn't it? The Washington Post reported that, quote, Islam can be fairly described as feminist. In fact, Islam is so feminist that in Muslim countries like Pakistan, 1,000 women die every single year as a result of honour killings. Honour killings are permissible 
under Sharia law. And Sharia law is progressive. Hello, Akbar! This is an exercise in Islamophilia. They're now asserting that anyone who doesn't fully submit to and embrace all facets of Islam is an Islamophobe. They're creating media hoaxes to advance the narrative that Islamophobia is rampant. A beach brawl in Corsica, France, blamed on locals harassing Muslim women wearing burkinis actually turned out to be Muslim men throwing stones at anyone who tried to get on the beach. The shooting of an imam in New York blamed on Trump supporting Islamophobes actually turned out to be the result of a feud between Muslims and Hispanics. Oh yeah, and global warming is also caused by Islamophobia. After Brexit, the BBC claimed that Britain was experiencing a tidal wave of hatred. In reality, reports of hate crimes moderately increased not actual documented cases of hate crimes. And since many on the left think that criticizing Islam is a hate crime, this was hardly the Islamophobic apocalypse it was made out to be. Meanwhile, Brits are being charged with racial incitement for insulting ISIS, while ISIS supporters parade around London wrapped in ISIS flags and nothing happens. Brits are being arrested for criticizing Muslim rape gangs. Yet it took 20 years of massive sustained pressure for ISIS supporting hate preacher and Jem Chowdhury to be arrested. Because the West is just so Islamophobic. And as the arrest of would-be ISIS inspired suicide bomber Aaron Driver proved once again, Islam is still not a race. Saying that Scientologists have some crazy beliefs doesn't make me a racist. Saying that honor killings throwing gays off buildings and stoning women to death is part of a bad belief system doesn't make me a racist. So there you have it. Islam. Still intolerant, still repressive, still incompatible with modern secular society. Still not a religion of peace. It's not Islamophobic to point that out. A phobic is a person suffering from irrational or uncontrollable dread. I don't choose to regard my own apprehensiveness about Muslim violence as groundless or illusory. Islamic terrorism is an infinitely bigger threat than mean tweets or you being offended. And no amount of death threats, politically correct government oppression or media contrived hoaxes is going to change that fact. That's not Islamophobia, that's objectively provable reality.